folks, I just got my lighted hand controls in. I'm going to unbox it and see what's in there. Here's, I think it's a good thing to get um, lighted hand controls. Let's see what's in here. Some instructions. Looks like an extra button, button cover. Here's one side of the hand controls. Now, be, because mine is a Road King, it doesn't have some of these functions. Okay, oh, I've got another button. And I'll put these on the uh, uh, closer video. Okay. What it looks like comes with these two extra controls that I don't have on the Road King, and we'll compare it side by side. You can see here in the instructions for the right controls, I'm going to swap this switch cover out with this. I'm going to take this and put swap that first. So the instruction says to remove this cap and replace it with this one. So that's what we're going to do. There it is. We're going to replace this with that. So to take the switch cap off, what I found is the latch at this end. So if you were to just pull up on this side, it just pops off. See that? It's a little latch there. That just pops right off and again to put it back obviously you're going to push the, this end first and then push that in there it is pretty simple first thing we're going to do is remove these two screws the stock screws are actually torx these are hex because i installed the zumo mount with my dynojet ev the uh, power vision so i'm going to take this off first Power vision. Okay, and then we're gonna use my hex driver to take these off. And then behind the top and bottom here are torque screws. When we're gonna be removing that. Okay, as you can see, I have my tank covered with a sweatshirt. Just to make sure, uh, I don't drop anything onto the tank. This is a T25, so we're gonna loosen this. So it's fairly light. So there's a screw on top and there's one on the bottom. So no. This Road King handlebar that was purchased as the uh, option. So the light position may have shifted. You may have to, it looks like I'm gonna have to take this light and mirror off first in order to access that torque screw directly. Light and mirror is held off by a half inch nut so I'm going to do that first. So it's a half inch uh, socket I'm going to use. There it is. I mean, I have the signal removed, just hang dangling there. Uh, the nut does have this lock washer, so don't lose the lock washer. Now we should have the straight access to that screw the torque screw that's on the bottom there right here top screw the front cover is completely loose that's 225 torques should be able to pull it straight forward and we're going to have to remove these four millimeter hex Okay, now that we have the front cover off, um, the metal cover, you have to take the switch off in order to get to this this cover off. I have the uh, the turn signal dangling because I removed it from the uh, hand controls. So 
the actual the way this comes off is it slides off this uh, there so it slid off this way make sure you have some cloth there I can now remove this and the turn signal is actually connected to this connector back here which you can uh, actually release by pressing this button here. Yep. That has to be pushed in to be pulled out. There, so it actually comes off. And then to remove this. There's a little lever here that just gets pushed up and it'll pop release. Right? There it is. Push up and it's now completely apart and you can see that opens up and you can pull this out. There it is. Okay, once it's apart, so we're gonna move that remove that connector, press on this, and pull, push down, and the connector will separate. There. Okay, once it's disconnected, so you just move them out of the latch. It's latched in there, see? Pull that out, pull this out, and it comes off. It's through, and then it's removed. This is the stock one. Control, hand control switch, compared to the stock hand control switch, you can see that the stock does not have that extra push to talk. This one does. There's also these extra buttons. There's cruise control here, but it seems like there's some menu items with the home button here. So the manual doesn't actually tell you to replace that. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stock one and move it over to here. So that way I don't have these extra buttons that I actually cannot use anyway. They're, these are not lit. These uh, controls, they don't actually don't have LED lighting. Okay, so I'm using a T6 driver. I'm going to first remove this. Okay, that's a coarse. This becomes loose. There is a latch under here that you just push up on each side. Mm -hmm. Push up. As you push up, the f this pops right off. That. So there's a stock one. I'm gonna swap it with this, so we're gonna take this off. Pop this off. Okay. It comes right off. I'm gonna put this, the original one, transfer it to here because it has less control. Put these screws back on. Now you could actually replace this, but I don't think we need to. Again, these uh, this part of the controls are not actually lit. So when I tighten, I just tighten very lightly, just when the screw seat is all we need. See, it just seat it in properly as long as it's not loose it's good you don't want to over tighten because you'll strip it it screws into the core screw screws into this back plastic okay we're going to assemble the controls back just go in reverse order first we're going to plug this connector back in Turn signal, plug this in, okay, then no. put this seal in here, on it, pass it through, okay. 
and then just put the two pieces uh, together. Make sure that it doesn't clamp any wire. And we'll put the brakes on. There's a switch over here. Be careful off. So this would go. This. Now normally you just finish up by putting in the torque screw here. But because I have that zoom mount, I need to put on the zoom mount first. Now the assembly is kind of on. Lower screw. Let's zoom it out. I'm going to tighten the top. Switch here. Again, this just slides in. That's what I'm going to do. Slide that in. The hand control clamp screw gets tightened first, not these. So, and these are tightened from 72 to 108 inch pound. I have mine set to about 95. Yeah, the top screw is supposed to be 35 to 45 inch pounds, the ones the ports in the back, so I had it up, I have it for 40 inch pounds. This is not the standard uh, Road King special bar. Uh, I upgraded this bar and the bars to the one that's pulled back, the lock washer. Not so. We're going to write inside, we'll remove these torque screws. Uh, for me, because I have this mount. Uh, the cell phone mount from Harley, it's actually a converted into a hex now. And then for me, because of the handlebars, this is not the standard handlebar. Okay, for this side, I think we can reach without having to. Yeah, actually, you can. You can reach without having to take the mirror out, so I'm not going to take the mirror out. Got to hold on to both assemblies because they're going to both fall out at the same time. Front is going to come off, and the back. Stuck to the. I probably don't want to dangle on this wire too much. I probably want to support this weight because this this can pull a lot of pressure on that wire, and you can probably rip it. There. This is all. The front brakes. Well, I pull this connector off. There. Okay, now we can rest this down. What I did is I put a screwdriver under here, like so, and it'll pop right off. Okay, there's two connectors here, as you can see. This was that connector that goes to this turn signal. Okay, so we're going to take that connector out, show it to you again. Basically, push on that tab and pull. There, that's out. 
push on this tab and pull. That's out. The wire loom runs through the side. It's held by here, there, right there, and here. Okay, so it just, how do I do this? Loosen, pull this up, and it comes off. Okay. okay here's a switch side by side. This is the new one. Here's a stock. You can see my stock has blanks on those. So we're going to repay. We, I'm going to move these blanks into over to here because I really don't have any of these functions on my Road King Special. So T6 torque screws are snug because they're they're threaded into plastic. If you over tighten, you'll strip them. There it is. First, we'll have to make sure the wires are in place. Connect that in. And then run the wires right here. Make sure it's pressed in good. First, we're going to connect this connector, the turn signal connector. Then we'll slip this into here. difficult because of the cell phone mount. A little bit. Okay, I'm gonna just snugly put on the screws to keep them together. These that are 72 to 108 inch pounds. I have this set up for 80 inch pounds. Here's what it looks like. The lights are on. Turn them off here so you can see. There. Turn them on. That's perfectly lit, not too bright. It's perfect. 